We just found out moments ago that Utah Senator Mitt Romney says that he will support the president as far as nominating a Supreme Court justice, which is not to say that Mitt Romney has said that he will vote for the president. At least that's not the way I interpret that. And, and Matt, if you're hearing differently, please tell me. It's not saying that he will support the president's nominee. Uh, it, it, in fact, is that he will support the president's right to nominate a Supreme Court justice. Keep in mind, the math here is very critical because, yeah, let's listen to Mitt Romney. the side of uh, the Constitution and precedent as I've studied it uh, and uh, and make the decision on that basis. Senator Trump, you said that, you said that um, in your release that you would look at Nani's qualifications. What qualifications are you looking for and what would make you not consider someone that President Trump is putting forward? Well, I think it's straightforward in terms of the quali qualifications you look for, which is someone who is an expert of the law, someone who has a record of fairness and judgment that you think is consistent with the law. Uh, I prefer choosing those folks who uh, are, uh, if you will, strict constructionists, meaning that they look at the law itself and the Constitution, as opposed to sort of looking into the sky and pulling out ideas that they think may be more appropriate than either the law or the Constitution. So I, I recognize that we, uh, uh, we may have a court which has more of a uh, conservative bent than it's had over the last uh, few decades. But my liberal friends have, over many decades, gotten very used to the idea of having a liberal court. And that's not written in the stars. Uh, and I know that a lot of people are saying, gosh, we don't want that change. I understand the energy associated with that perspective. But it's also appropriate for a nation, which is, if you will, center-right, uh, to have a court which reflects uh, center-right points of view, which, again, are not changing uh, the, the law from what it states, but instead following the law and following the Constitution. Senator Romney, you know um, there's Supreme Court nominations take some time and there isn't a lot of time before the election. Would you support a lame duck vote if Democrats win the majority? You know, I, I'm not going to look at all the, the hypotheticals that might occur, but I've laid out what I uh, intend to do, and that would be uh, uh, dependent upon, or not, excuse me, not dependent upon uh, the timing. I don't know whether the decision will be, will be made before or after the election, meaning the final vote will be f before or after the election. Would you be all right if the final vote was before the election? Would you have a problem with well, that? Well, I, I my statement applies to uh, the current circumstance, which means uh, the timing will be uh, decided by the Judiciary Committee and the majority leader as to when it gets to the floor. But if Biden wins, you'd be okay with a vote in a lame duck session if Biden wins? <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to get into the particulars. There you have Utah Senator Mitt Romney, who's saying he will support the president's ability to nominate a Supreme Court nominee. He went on to say that he would support a constructionist, also known as an originalist, somebody who bases their decisions based on the Constitution and not an interpretation of the Constitution.